Good morning, everyone. My name is Sonia from technologycatalog.com, and I would like to welcome you to our new webinar about how to digitize your inspections. Before leaving you with Paul Edison from Inspectivity, I will briefly introduce you to technologycatalog.com. Uh, in the company, what we want to do is uh, make finding technology in the energy industry very easy and immediate, uh, together with all required support to deploy these technologies. A current problem is indeed that there is a very wide range of available solutions which can cause confusion about what are the best technology investment for your business. And of course, uh, it's also a great opportunity to be introduced to new technologies without having to travel. What I would like to, you to do is to visit your web, our website to find and compare new technologies that will so enhance your business. Um, I will now let the stage to Paul who will present you how organizations can successfully migrate from paper-based and non-structured inspections to digital inspections using the inspectivity platforms. And just to give you a few information about the structure of the webinar, uh, the webinar is gonna last around 15 minutes. We're gonna have 10 minutes presentation and five final minutes for your questions. If you have any, please uh, use the chat box on your right. And also, should you have any issue with uh, audio or slides, for example, uh, just submit them in the chat box and we will help you out. Also, at the end of the webinar, there is a very helpful white paper, which is uh, the company's uh, implementer's guide for you to use. And also, uh, we're going to share all the material used uh, later on. So enjoy the webinar. And Paul, the floor is yours. Thank you, Sonia. Hello and uh, good morning or afternoon to you, wherever you may be located. My name is uh, Paul Edison. Um, today I would like to introduce you to Inspectivity and explain about our digital inspection software solutions. I'll run through a series of slides to explain what digital inspection means to Inspectivity, what are the key aspects of a digital inspection solution, I'll also offer some advice on how to migrate away from paper-based inspections. And then finally, some insights into the benefits of these types of solutions. So first up, some introductions. I'm a co-founder of Inspectivity. Um, my career has been a combination of uh, engineering in the oil and gas sector, as well as uh, more recently, software engineering. My early engineering work gave me an insight into the massive inefficiency related to inspection aspects of in engineering projects. And then combine that with software engineering, it, it provided a, a unique opportunity to try and solve this problem. And with that, Inspectivity was formed in 2012. Now, Inspectivity is a software provider as well as implementation consultancy. We are not an, ins an inspection service provider, however, but we do provide our tools to inspection service providers, EPCs, and operators to help them to digitize their approach to inspection. Inspectivity is based in Perth, Western Australia, and uh, we are focused on delivering inspection software solutions for global engineering projects. Now, inspection is a, a fairly broad concept, and I, I think it's important to express clearly how we understand inspection, and specifically with a digital approach. So we, do, we see digital inspection as a process of verification of the state or condition of an asset, with the aim to document the issues with a strong data focus, whilst following a very standardized and disciplined approach. Now, the approach must allow global teams to collaborate throughout that inspection activity and also share information with stakeholders and systems in near real time. So with this understanding, our aim was to develop a cloud and mobile inspection software platform. And the solution, however, needed to be engineering focused and it needed to take an asset centric view of inspection activities. So not, uh, not just simply a form building platform. We also wanted to provide flexibility to support many different use cases. 
and the Inspectivity platform was first productionized in 2014 with the very first live implementation in the hazardous area inspection space. The platform now provides an asset-centric inspection management system which can cater for multiple use cases in a, in a single solution. Now, before we dive into the detail, let me briefly explain the key moving parts of the platform. Firstly, Portal is our cloud or web application that is used at the desk. It's used for configuration, for managing the inspection and defect lifecycle, uh, for collaboration between supervisors, engineering and inspection teams, and of course, for status reporting. Go is a, a mobile app that connects inspectors with a global audience. Inspectors use the Go app to perform inspection activities against a functional location. Now, over the next few slides, I'll take time to introduce some key elements of our digital inspection solution, uh, namely things like asset modeling or your asset hierarchy, uh, the forms that uh, are used for inspection activities, workflows around those activities, uh, mobility tools, um, reporting, and of course, integration with other systems. In terms of asset modeling, the portal web application allows a user to view an asset hierarchy for your inspection scope. The hierarchy is typically created based on an external source of truth, such as SAP. In addition uh, to a hierarchy of functional locations, the hierarchy model brings together a rich array of asset information into a single easy to use portal. This includes things like asset specification data, any additional documentation like drawings, inspection history, ad hoc commentary, as well as photos. Each functional location can have multiple scopes of inspection activity with complete visibility of who performed what and when, what the results were, what are the defects, and what is the state of their resolution. So through our asset hierarchy, you can easily coordinate multiple streams of work across different teams, disciplines, locations, all within a single platform. The next building block to a digital inspection platform is the method of capture for the inspection results. These are the forms to be used for any discipline or scope of work. Forms can be created by your power users in the portal application to support inspection by exception or, or more detailed results gathering approaches. Whatever your approach, the importance of strongly typed data cannot be underestimated. Your digital data set will be the foundation for future automation, provide the potential for machine learning, as well as predictive analytics. A more granular approach increases your future possibilities in this area. The platform's form editor supports both approaches and users can configure forms with strong validation, intuitive layouts, as well as a range, using a range of input types to capture results in, in any way that you need to. Improving collaboration opportunity across global boundaries has never been more important, but for inspectivity, this has always been a key requirement. Uh, one of our clients provides an award-winning solution for API recommended practice inspections for land rigs. They operate in some fairly difficult locations, places like Iraq and Algeria, and they were looking for a solution that allowed their engineers in France to collaborate in real time with inspectors on the ground. They wanted to avoid safety issues associated with these locations, logistical issues with travel, and also to reduce the inspection reporting cycle from months down to days. The enterprise workflow that underpins the inspectivity platform uh, supports this approach and connects disparate teams with an interest in the inspection work. This allows us to provide real-time access to results, supporting faster decision-making, provide that connection between the field team and engineering for reviews and clarifications, um, workflows that manage the life cycle of a defect from initial record through assessment and closeout, and the workflow can also generate alerts to advise stakeholders of critical issues. Mobility is the 
cornerstone of efficiency and of course is required to support real-time decision making. The platform provides a mobile application called Go, which is designed for the Android, Android ecosystem. Our application allows inspectors to work both on or offline uh, to record results according to the templates configured by your power users, take photos with, with validation on the, on the quantity of photos, and that type of thing, view additional any additional documentation such as an isometric or a, a general arrangement drawing, and perhaps annotate those drawings with a markup of where defects are located, and uh, marking up photos with, with more um, information as well for engineering downstream. We also support scanning of coded barcode labels and RFID, as well as recording geolocation information on your photos and uh, defects that are recorded, and support for video and voice. Digital inspections capture a, a huge quantity of rich inspection data that can be used in reporting and reporting is typically very bespoke, but the platform includes out-of-the-box reporting capabilities such as PDF or Excel exports from register screens, inspection activity reports and photo records, defect reports, as well as real-time dashboards. In addition to built-in dashboards, we can provide read-only replicas integrated with your own BI tools such as Power BI and Cognos. An important aspect of our digital solution is the capability to integrate with external systems. We provide an application programming interface to allow a seamless connection between the inspection platform and those systems that are, that are the source of truth for your data. For example, SAP may maintain your functional locations. Inspectivity can source that data from SAP and can ensure that change management, management protocols are maintained between the two systems or perhaps you use an Oracle ERP system for work order management, our, our API can ensure that both work orders and the inspection system uh, remain in sync with status updates. Also, if you have a RBI system such as uh, Meridian uh, and you need your inspection profile results to flow back from the, the field into the RBI system to allow that uh, risk assessment and, and inspection planning to take place. So via the API integration, we can ensure that uh, data integrity is maintained across systems and that all systems are aligned in terms of uh, status and inspection results. So how can you ensure a successful migration to digital inspection? Firstly, bring the right people together and ensure you have a focal point who has a strong understanding of field activities as well as the engineering process and data sources. Next, don't try and change the world with a waterfall style project. Pick a single use case uh, and implement it end to end and then from that um, build out to other use cases. Make sure you define your reporting outputs up front uh, and work backwards from reporting outputs to digital inspection forms and this allows you to then ensure your your inspection will capture the right level of detail to support your reporting outputs. In terms of forms, don't try to implement a like-for-like -like paper to the digital uh, um, uh, transfer. Tablets do provide great efficiency, um, but a badly designed approach is, is uh, going to lead to unexpected performance issues. And also think about your future data requirements. Uh, forms do need to be quick to complete by the inspector, yet they should be granular enough to support your plans for a future automation. And once your analysis is complete um, and before a production rollout, obviously test and trial the solution, reconfigure, gather feedback from the team, make sure you've got buy-in from those that are going to be impacted by, by the solution. Um, the last consideration I offer today is that in the first phase of implementation, do not start integration. Integration should la lag your digital inspection rollout. You need to ensure you've got a strong understanding of the field work, the engineering reviews, any work order processes before you go and create that tightly coupled integrated solution. Now there's a lot of detail to think about. I've touched the surface here. Uh, but if you would like to learn more about our take on um, implementation 
as Sonia mentioned, we have a, a white paper or an implementer's guide available um, at the end of the webinar. Okay, this is my last slide before we move to a Q&A session. Um, and I'd like to wrap up with some thoughts of why you might consider digital inspection for your project or organization. The key benefits we see are principally around six key areas. So firstly, productivity. Uh, inspectors that are using a digital form can work uh, more efficiently through forms than, than a paper-based equivalent. Um, they have at their fingertips in a, in a nice simple form factor of a tablet, all the information that they need to perform their work. So that's drawings, certificates, the form itself, previous inspection history. And obviously working with a, with a mobility device allows them to, to stream those results to decision makers uh, fast. In terms of data quality, your power users can set up forms in the platform that can provide a strong data foundation for your future automation requirements. Removing opinion and allowing your inspectors to report facts only. In terms of collaboration, the current COVID-19 pandemic has, has taught unprepared, unprepared organisations a tough lesson and why technology is important for collaboration. For our clients, digital inspection means that uh, engineering team members isolated at home can still collaborate with inspection teams. This uh, has a, a unique uh, side effect, meaning we can reduce site headcount um, and, uh, and create better collaboration opportunities. In terms of safety, ensuring that uh, critical results are available in real time and transparent uh, to all stakeholders helps to improve safety. And also by implementing a platform for inspection, you can enforce competency of the personnel involved in performing the work. Standardization, well, a digital process does create a standardized approach. It provides a foundation for, for a disciplined approach and a more easily understood approach. Um, this means you can engage new inspectors faster and you can rely on less senior resources uh, to do the work. And then lastly, uh, reporting. Um, the key question here is how much time do your inspectors spend at a desk collating a report to ultimately share with others? In our experience, this is generally in the vicinity of 50-60% of a 12-hour shift, for example. Uh, that time can be better spent on higher quality tasks than um, manually aggregating data from paper forms, photos, uh, and other data sources. So thank you everyone for listening to, to the webinar today. I hope you found it interesting and helpful. If you're interested in learning more or arranging a follow-up presentation for your teams, please do not hesitate to contact us. That concludes my presentation. I'll now give the floor back to Sonia to move to the Q&A session. Perfect, thank you so much, Paul. Um, so I would like to ask you a question myself. And uh, in the meantime, I'll see that already a few questions are popping in. So um, what is the typical implementation time frame? Okay, that's a good question. I mean, it's <laughs> the answer is how long is a piece of string, but um, a fast implementation is typically around four to six weeks. Um, we, we did an implementation for a client in June last year. It was about four weeks to do that. In the last six months, they've done 20,000 plus inspections uh, based on that implementation. So it depends on a variety of factors. You know, is a pilot project required? Um, is the inspection team engaged? Um, what are the requirements for customization, um, IT due diligence, contractual? There's a, there's a, manger, a, a range of factors. Okay, perfect. Then, um, okay, one question ask if, of course, the slides, uh, the video, but probably the slides, uh, are going to be available to be presented in front of top management. I think that can be something to be arranged between, you know, like you and uh, uh, the person interested. So I think you can guys uh, handle the, the question internally. Yes, absolutely. If, if you could uh, reach out to Inspectivity, I, I, we can set up uh, any follow-up presentations. Perfect. Then uh, from Tony, uh, what is your pricing structure? Dollars per month by users, dollars per month by keep numbers, etc. cetera. Uh, please clarify range. Uh, typically, uh, 
uh, pricing structure is it, we're a SaaS business, so software as a service. So we, we provide our pricing based on per user per month um, or, or by tag. It depends on, on, the, um, on the implementation. And in terms of clarifying a range, I, I think this is a non-commercial session. I'd be happy to, to discuss pricing um, in, a, in a sales setting um, with, with yourself, Tony, if you'd like to arrange that. Okay. Then from Hans, um, is your system able to create notifications in your ERP system straight away? Okay, so inspection work can be ta uh, can be occurring offline, and the Go app does provide the ability to um, to perform the work offline. But once those results are up uploaded, uh, depending on the the philosophy of integration and uh, what events in the workflow would trigger those updates that could update the ERP system, updating the work order status, <coughs> or perhaps uh, sending inspection results to an RBI tool. Um, it, it depends on, on how integration is managed, but uh, yes, that is possible. Perfect. Then from Zara, uh, do you have Windows or iOS available too? At this time, we don't support Windows or iOS. Our, our philosophy has been to support Android because of the uh, good support we've got from vendors for uh, EX devices. So companies like Ecom and iSafe, uh, both German companies, provide excellent tools for uh, Zone 1, Zone 2 devices. Um, we will move towards Windows, um, iOS unlikely. Perfect. Um, then. Is it uh, a live connection system or you need a cradle afterwards? So uh, there's no cradle involved. Um, we're typically using uh, off-the-shelf Android devices uh, that have a, a Wi-Fi or a 4G connection. Uh, once the, the connection is available, the inspector can uh, sync results back to the portal application to then uh, um, provide that um, uh, Share, share those results with systems or stakeholders. Um, another question from Zara. Uh, is this solution only cloud-based? Yes, it is. Um, we, depending on the business case, we can support in-house solutions. However, uh, there has to be a strong business case. Um, we typically prefer to offer a cloud solution for, um, for speed to, to deploy and, uh, and implement for our clients. Um, then one of the last questions, because time is really against us. Uh, Jessica, do you see a role for artificial intelligence to assist in visual inspection in this process? Yes, absolutely. We uh, Inspectors are often taking photos of corrosion defects and, and other uh, scenarios in the field. And we do see that introducing capability for uh, assessment of those photos for to, to, to grade them and provide an assessment of the result is absolutely a strategy we will look towards in the future. Okay. Um, from class, Cole, uh, is there a standardized reporting after the inspection possible? Yes, it is. So uh, as part of any inspection activity, it's based on a digital template that the power user has configured for the use case um, once or at any point in that workflow you can print that inspection activity to a PDF output. Uh, the PDF output that we provide out of the box is available to all clients however as I mentioned during the slide presentation uh, reporting formats are very typically very bespoke um, uh, so we, we can we can do both customize the solution so that the PDF is pixel perfect for your organization or be more pragmatic and use uh, more out of the box cap capability. Perfect. OK, um, then I think that the time available is, is running out. I'm going to share now the, the case study. Uh, uh, like via, via email, I'm going to share a later on. Um, so I would like to thank you all for being here today. Uh, if you want to discover more, please head to our uh, website, technologycatalog.com. Uh, we're going to share again all the material used for the presentation. So the white paper, the slides, and also the video uh, rewatch. And um, so soon after the webinar. So thank you again, Paul, for being here with us today. 
and uh, all of you have a nice day. Thank you very much, Sonia. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Bye-bye.